In this question, we are asked to draw the graphs for acceleration versus time, velocity versus time, and displacement versus time for the following scenario. Okay, so we have an object falls from a height of 84 meters. So, if we have to do the acceleration versus time graph, um, they tell us downwards is positive, so we know that acceleration is equal to negative 9, comma, not negative 9, but comma 8, 9, comma 8, and the reason why 9, comma 8 meters per second squared is because downwards is positive. So, since acceleration is a downwards vector, it is going to be a positive value. So this is simply at 9.8, which is around about there, we're going to draw a horizontal line. Problem is we don't know how far to draw it, okay? Because we have to stop at some point because the object stops falling. So he stops having acceleration. Now to work that out, we simply just need to work out time given the values that we have. So what values do we have? Well, we have initial velocity because it's a falling object, is zero. We want to calculate time, we uh, don't have final velocity, we have acceleration right there. Um, what else do we have? Oh, we have height, so we have displacement. So height is how far it will fall for, so displacement will be a maximum of 84 meters. So with that in mind, which formula can we go and use to calculate the time? Well, we can use displacement is equal to initial velocity times time plus a half times acceleration times time squared. Okay, hopefully you know that, that one will work perfectly and all we do is substitute in here. So we have 84 is equal to 0 times time is what we want to calculate plus a half times 9.8 9.8 uh, 9 times time squared. Here we see this will simply be 0. So we have 84 on this side and both sides need to be divided by a half times 4.8. That means 4.9. So dividing both sides with a 4.9, what do we get? We get 84 divided by 4.9 equals 17.8. One. So we get that t squared, remember it's a square, we s still have the square there, is equal to 17 comma, and then all these digits, I'm not going to round yet, 1, 1, 4, 2, 8, blah, 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 I, I want t. In other words, I want to take a square root on both sides, and if I do so, I get an answer of 4.1. Now, this is a graph, I can't... Uh, do two decimal places, but I see it's about 4.14. So let's make it 4.1, and that is how long my fall is going to be. And I only need to calculate that once, so it is going all the way up to 4.1. What do we have here? 4.1234. That means that's two and a half. Okay, so that's two and a half, five, seven and a half, ten. Okay, so it's going to be more or less, more or less there. Uh, round about oh, this is a straight line there we go I'm happy with that okay next up is our velocity our velocity well we know our velocity graph is going to have a constant slope so it's just simply going to be a straight line now what we need to figure out okay if it is a straight line where are we going to start and where are we going to end so simply we want to know what is our initial velocity going to be and what is our final velocity going to be it's not that difficult because the initial velocity we know is zero meters per second okay so all we need to know is what's final velocity final velocity is very easy with this formula final velocity is initial velocity plus acceleration times time Initial velocity being 0, acceleration being 9,8 meters per second, and time, we've just worked time out in the previous question, and that was 4.1 seconds. So after 4,1 seconds, we can go and calculate this. So all we actually have is 9.8 times 4.1. Okay, we already have this in our calculator, so let's just multiply this with 9.8. There we go, 40.57. So that's going to be, if I round it off, I'm going to use uh, 
estimation sign that's like these curly equation lines that would be 40 comma 58 okay and again it's on a graph so I'm going to have to do it to one decimal place 40 comma 6 that's how high it is going to be after 4.1 seconds okay there we can see we're going from 36 to 39 so every line here is 1 so that's going to be 40 and I think even if I round it to 41 maybe 40 just a little bit more than 41 that's going to be perfect so from here from uh, I'll fix that just now to 4.1 seconds I must go all the way up to 40 almost 40 there's 40 40 point six I think that should be more or less fine and here let's just make sure it goes right to the center okay why does it have an upward slope wouldn't this mean that my acceleration is positive yes it would because it's upwards okay acceleration is positive 9,8 because we chose downwards as our positive value that's why our graph shows upwards okay so don't be confused by that this thing is still falling downwards but at an increasing speed all the time so let's look at the displacement so obviously here we're very lucky they give us the displacement has that shape now since this is a falling object it means after every second it is displacing more and more and more and more and more and more until we reach 4.1 seconds and we have no further displacement okay then all of a sudden it stops so what's going to happen is after 4.1 seconds we're going to reach our maximum after zero seconds we are haven't done any displacement so we'll be at zero so what we need to figure out is we know that our graph is going to go from here somewhere in that direction making this parabola shape and we just want to know how high or how high is it or how far has it fallen after these 4.1 seconds now how far has it fallen after 4.1 seconds well we've already worked that out okay we know the object falls from a height of 84 meters so after 4.1 seconds it reached the ground that's what we worked out in other words it did 84 meters so that's not too difficult so it means after 0 seconds we start here and after 4.1 seconds we're at 84 84 let's just follow that line is yeah and there we go that's the perfect graph not that difficult I hope you enjoyed it